Climate debt is based on the recognition that people, communities, countries have contributed to the pollution of our planet in different levels. And we are specifically referring to the pollution that has to do with greenhouse gas emissions, which is the principal physical cause of climate change. It is also based on the conviction that all people everywhere have equal rights to Earth, to the space that it provides for our life, so that if we consider that there are people, communities, and countries that have exceeded their share of their Earth in terms of the contributions they have made to greenhouse gas emissions, then you, these people are in debt. They are in debt to the rest of the world because they have occupied far more than what they have a right to. Solving the climate crisis has a lot to do with reducing the emissions, has a lot to do with also finding out how we can share the space that is still left for us, then we need to consider that those who have exceeded that share should have far less than those who have actually been deprived of that share. This carbon budget that we have to all share, we cannot share equally because it is only right and just that those who have occupied far more than their share pay back their debt by having less. And this is very central to the demands of people of the South who have actually, historically, if you consider that we are 75% of the population, but we have only had 25% of the share of the, of the Earth's resources and its atmosphere. So moving forward, it's only right that we are uh, given a chance to have our fair share of the carbon budget and those who have exceeded should have far less.